Hikers, welcome to another Guitar Shop Frisk. Today we are at Toman. Let's go into the store. When you enter the guitar room, you're standing right in front of a four row shelf. This is 15 or 20 meters long. And the guitar room is really big. On the first wall you find a lot of Fender Strats and Telecasters. I was happy to see this Ibanez shelf here. They lighted them with a blue light and they glowed really awesome. Good collection of Ibanez guitars here. And on top there were some Epiphone and Jackson guitars. They also have a little space for all the left-handed guitars. Here we have some Gibson and the Charvel shelf. On the balcony railing, they had the most expensive guitars. And there I saw this J Custom Ivaness guitars and the Ivaness Pia. Really awesome. They catch my eyes. Down under is the more expensive custom guitars. A lot of Rickenbacker models here. some shore guitars. In that room they have Gibson custom guitars, a lot of PRS models, awesome colors. Each guitar here has an own spotlight. And a lot of Fender Telecasters vintage strats. On the left side, there's the bass guitar land. There's a separate room for bass guitars. There were people in there testing some basses, so I wasn't able to film there. On the top, again, some Jackson guitars and Gibson guitar. So basically everywhere you look around you find some guitars. There's no place left in this shop. In the middle of the room they have a podest with some Dan Electra guitars. And here is the Fender bass wall. That's the view from the top. On the first floor, you find a lot of Gretsch guitars and Gibson ES models. The same thing in Epiphone. And now we are in the acoustic guitar place. One really cool thing about Toman is 
they are so big that I can't have all the guitars in stock here in the shop. So basically they have one model of each guitar here. For the other colors you can order it from the warehouse and they bring it to you in 30 minutes and you can test it in the store. So if you're not able to find a guitar here, you can look in their online store and test anything you like. Here we have a lot of Harley Benton guitars and some starter brands like Yamaha, Fender or Guild. One corner full of Taylor guitars. Right behind this Taylor guitars is the most expensive acoustic room. I'll film that later. Here we have the classic guitars with nylon strings. and the ukulele lens. Something you should never do in a guitar store. <laughs> Let's go on. Here I filmed again the most expensive Ibanez guitars. And I have a little corner for the metal guitars. Here you find ESP, Dean guitars, Washburn and Solar guitars. I've tested the light green solo guitar in the right corner. It was really awesome. Here's the most expensive acoustic guitars, some cool Gibson guitars and Lakewood. Really awesome brands. On the ground floor they have Three or four rooms full of guitar amps, so this one is for bass guitars. And this room is basically heaven on earth. Here you find tube amps from brands like Marshall, Engel, Hughes & Kettner, Mesa Boogie. Orange, Palmer and a lot more. I really love the light in here. Finally, I found my Hughes and Kettner amp. In some rooms I wasn't able to film, so this is the last room and now let's take a look at the guitars I would buy and I would not buy. This is the guitar I would buy. It is a Harley Benton... Uh, it is not a Harley band. It's the Ivanas J Custom. Well, the question is, which color do you like? Right.
write down in the comment section below which color of these would you buy. That feels really awesome. It's a lot lighter than the Ibanez J custom line and the neck is really awesome. There is one detail I want to show you. The pickups are really, really awesome. It's an amazing guitar. This is the guitar I would never buy because it's so light. I think this one has about half of a kilo absolutely no weight and I think if, if you shred it too hard it breaks in the middle or it flies away with the wind so I'm really afraid to shred this but it's actually cool It's amazing. Only uh, thing is that uh, this stays never in tune, but it's a great option for the car. It was a really amazing day at the Thoman store and it's so big that I wasn't able to film anything, so sorry for that. I bought a new guitar, which is in this case here, but uh, the video is too long now, so i show you in a separate video which guitar I bought. I was also able to film in the custom guitar room and there were a lot of guitars as well so I make a separate video for the unboxing and a separate video for the custom guitar room. Stay tuned for the next videos and click the subscribe button.